Well, a beautiful good morning to you all. Welcome to another Rally Roots vlog. I'm actually pretty excited about today. It's gonna be an interesting day. I am currently sitting outside of a Goodwill store. I'm gonna run in there. It's like, um, what time is it? It's 8.43. This Goodwill opens up at 9 a.m. So I'm waiting to go get like early morning inventory. Sometimes I find that's the best way to do it, to wake up early, get all my tasks done in the morning, get my emails out of the way, and then come to a Goodwill right when it opens so that I can get that fresh new inventory. So I'm gonna hit this Goodwill, then I'm gonna go down the street to another Goodwill and see what they have in stock. And then later today, we're doing a big 20 lot drop um, of wholesale for our mentoring students. So I'll keep you guys posted on that so you can kind of see like how that works for us. Cause every Thursday, or really like every other Thursday, we do these wholesale drops where we have all of this bulk inventory that we lot up into smaller lots and we sell that to our mentoring students so that they have fresh inventory to list on eBay or Amazon or Poshmark or Macari, wherever else they want to list it. <laughs> so that's kind of the game plan for today. And you guys know how like sometimes you wake up and you're just feeling good and you know that it's going to be a good day. I just have a good feeling about today. So hopefully, uh, hopefully today turns out well, but I'm awake and uh, ready to give this day everything that I have. So with that being said, guys, let's uh, let's go see what this Goodwill has in it. All right, you charge up. I'll be right back. I've switched over to the GoPro now, guys. So hopefully the uh, hopefully the audio is OK and you guys can see me and hear me. All right. Sometimes this GoPro audio is a bit uh, a bit wonky, but heading over to the Goodwill now. Let's go see if there's anything in there. It's uh, it's 8.58. I got here two minutes early, so I'm just waiting in the shade. <laughs> I'm actually the first one in the store, so I'm gonna head straight to the electronics, see if there's anything there. Could be something. All right, two things in the cart so far. Um, I don't know if I'm getting them yet, but I will look them up in a second. Thirteen bucks for the Doc Martens, maybe. Pretty cool Remington shooting shirt for five bucks. Catch. $4.58. I know some people don't like these, but we do pretty well with these wool. These like wool military sweaters. There we go. Nice little Pendleton for five. Always a good buy if they're in good condition. That's very interesting. $4. A Merrill jacket. Hmm. My charging's complete, we're fully charged, but I am still looking around. I like this Muhammad Ali t-shirt. Under Armour heat gear, $3, pretty cool. And then I found like a basic essentials Vineyard Vines front and back t-shirt. This one is $3. That's it so far, but the card is filling up. Ooh. All right, iRobot, scan this. So only one listed open box for 53 free shipping uh it's older it's eight dollars but for eight bucks i think i'll take a shot on it actually i found another one listed for 28 free shipping so i'm gonna leave that behind oh this is actually kind of surprising this phone is only worth like what 30 bucks and they want 15 for it so i'm gonna leave the phone behind as well the doc martens are 13 and comps look pretty good on them so i am gonna pick those up all right i think that is gonna be about it at this thrift store head out and head to the next Goodwill. I don't know if the wind's really loud, but that wasn't terrible. Spent $40 uh, heading back to the car now. So yeah, got some good stuff. All right, inventory goes in the bin. And that was actually really dumb of me. Uh, I have my bag with me, my canvas bag, and I still forgot it. So oops, sorry, I need to not use the plastic bags. We have these canvas bags for a reason. So at the next Goodwill, I promise I'll take my canvas bag in and these will get recycled, they will. Always nice to have a nice 
full tank of gas <laughs> or electricity. All right, let's get to the next Goodwill. guys and girls second goodwill stop of the day let's go see if there's any treasures inside i'm actually just gonna publish this youtube video quick before i head into that goodwill it's so cool being able to do everything from your phone the future is the future is awesome so this one is now up on our channel by the way guys in case you've missed out we have been publishing a lot of youtube videos again lately i know we went through a dry spell but if you look, I've been posting pretty much every day. Today, yesterday, the day before, the day before. So go and check out these new videos on our channel if you haven't watched them yet. Oh yeah, my bag. <laughs> Can't forget it this time. All right, picked up a couple shirts there. Funny story about this Goodwill, I actually found this vintage Mortal Kombat t-shirt at that Goodwill, which is funny. So yeah, that Goodwill, the prices were kind of high. They didn't have too much. I did find some pretty decent fishing shirts though. I bought three fishing shirts. So I bought two Columbia PFG Super Bonehead shirts, both the same size, different colors. Those will get lotted up and sold as one. We'll sell them as two shirts for one price. We'll probably list them around, I would say around like $45, maybe $40. Paid 10 bucks for them, so still a decent amount of profit there. I would not have bought them if it was just one. The only reason why I decided to buy them was because there were two of them. And then I bought the Nua Tags Sims Fishing Long Sleeve Shirt. That might be a new brand for some of you. It is an excellent brand to look out for. Sims Fishing Shirt sell very well for us, new or used. But a very, very important tip is take your items to a well-lit area in the Goodwill or in the thrift store and make sure you look them over thoroughly. Especially when you're spending $12, $15 on a shirt, the worst thing is to, to buy something expensive like that, take it back home, and then when you're taking pictures, find a flaw that just really devalues the item. So make sure you're taking them to an area where you can thoroughly look through the shirts. And that's what happened with those other shirts. Uh, I found really nice, 2XL long sleeve Under Armour heat gear shirts. There was stains on one of them. And then the other Sim shirt had like bad armpit stains. So I ended up leaving those behind and I only bought those three items, but still happy that I found some stuff at that Goodwill. Still turned like $27 into probably like I don't know, 80 bucks gross, so not a bad little stop. That's probably the end of thrifting for today, um, but keep watching, guys. We're gonna continue on with the day. It is 11.30 a.m. right now. We do our wholesale drop for our students at 1 p.m. Eastern time. So I'm gonna go home now and get the website ready for that drop, um, and I'll take you guys along for that journey as well. So stay tuned, still more vlog to come. Hi, Mo. Hey, Mo. I'm home. That's a good girl. Hi. Hi, sweetie. What you doing? Where's my good girl? Where's my good girl? Where? Mochi's kind of sad right now because Allie is in New York. She left yesterday to go to a friend's Indian wedding. So she's going to be in New York for the weekend, which is the reason why she's not in this video. So Allie's in New York 
Callie is in Colorado on like a girl's trip. Luckily, Ben, my younger brother, and uh, my other younger brother, Daniel, are here for the weekend as well. So I'm not all alone and I have help with the business, which is nice. But yeah, the ladies are out having fun, which is why they're not in the videos right now. All right, wholesale, wholesale, almost ready to go. Um, hey guys, a lot of people have been asking us about like how our wholesale works. So let me show you that really quick. It's actually pretty simple. So we upload lots to our wholesale website on Thursdays. And like, let me show you the first one, for example. So this is a lot of 50 pairs of jeans for $347. Um, and we do include shipping on that as well. So it's a pretty decent deal. This one works out to like just under seven bucks a pair. And there's brands in there like Not Your Daughter's Jeans, True Religion, Miss Me, Earl Jeans, Rock Republic, Joe's, Diesel, a lot of really good brands. So we pretty much just upload like pictures of the lots that we currently have for sale. And then our students can choose if they wanna purchase them or if they don't wanna purchase them. And then we sell them on like a first come first serve basis. The cool thing about doing it like that is I'm pretty sure not to like toot our own horn, but I'm pretty sure we're the only people with like a reselling program where we actually provide our students with resellable inventory. We don't always have a ton of stuff, but we'll upload what we have. And then our students have the opportunity to buy in bulk. And like on that lot of jeans, they can probably turn $347 into at least net double that. So they're spending 350 bucks to make 350 bucks. But again, they're not having to go out and source at thrift stores or go to auctions. It's just a click of a button and they get the wholesale. So we're trying to expand this more. It's still currently 100% only for our mentoring students right now. It more than likely will stay that way because we're not able to get enough inventory to open it up to the public, but it seems to be going very well for our students right now. So we're happy about that. And by the way, guys, our mentoring program right now is full, it's closed. The next time that we're gonna be opening up mentoring, we're taking a bit of a break, um, but the next time we're gonna open up is in September. I believe we set it for September 15th. I will leave a link in the description of this video to our website where you can get on the waiting list for the September 15th group. We only take on 75 people at a time. So if you wanna get on that waiting list, there's a link in the description of this video and we're looking forward to hopefully working with you in the future. Anyway, it is 12.30 and these lots are supposed to go live at 1 p.m. So let me get to work and get these lots out to our students so they can buy them. All right, we're gonna let those wholesale lots sell and I'm gonna head up to our warehouse right now. Uh, my younger brother, Ben, is already up there taking pictures and handling shipping for us. So I'm gonna run up there and as these wholesale lots sell, we'll start shipping them out for our students. So to the warehouse. Oh wow, looks like I'm driving into some nasty weather, yikes. And then two seconds later, the rain just stops. <laughs> Florida, make up your mind. Jeez. What's up, man? How's it going? Good. Is that it? Yeah. So of the 20 lots that we just dropped at one, um, I think 16 of them are sold. And it's not raining at the warehouse right now, so might as well ship them and get them out. Yeah. What do you think of the finds? Let's see. Let's watch Ben. Look at the Goodwill finds and tell me what he thinks. Some Sims, new tags. What is this? Columbia? Yeah, the two Columbias go together. Merrill jacket. Wait, you're supposed to say what you think as you're doing it. Um, I think I have to take pictures of them all. <laughs> I just took pictures of the same thing. I know, I found another one. Okay, some whales. Some whale. Nice. Oh yeah. These things. Yeah, what do you think of those? I didn't know that Reebok made skate shoes. Yeah. And I probably should know that, but I didn't. And they're uh, DGK collabs. Yeah. I don't know. They were $7, and um, the ones that are listed are listed high. So They haven't been skated. No. They're hard, hard bottom shoes. Yeah. I figured it was worth a shot. <laughs> I'm didn't... thinking they might be worth over 100 bucks. Oh, wow. Yeah. Some Doc Martens. Some Dockies. These are interesting ones because they're like canvas. Yeah, yeah. They're in good shape though. Yeah. Nice. That's it. Nice bear hat. It's pretty cool. I like it. How much for the bear hat? Uh, no. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's get these lots shipped. Um, while we ship them, we'll show you guys like how we ship them the cheapest way possible. So you can see that. Ben did most of our eBay shipping already for us, which is good. Um, these two things still have to be shipped out. This was a really interesting sale. It's like a Sony equalizer model XE744. This thing sold for how much? Like 200, 200 and 20, I think $229 this sold for. So hopefully it gets to them and it works and they're happy. <laughs> Oh yeah, and it's missing a button, which is crazy. And then this Pendleton blanket sold. Uh, it sold for the second time. It was returned one time because they didn't like the size of it, even though the size is very clearly shown right on the tag. So we relisted it and it sold again within a day. So this sold for $160 shipped. Don't forget your thank you cards. It's always better to over bubble wrap than under bubble wrap. The more padding and protection you can give your item, the better. And then for this equalizer, I'm gonna be using a regional box A. Could I have stuffed it into a padded flat rate? Yeah, probably. Um, but to save a couple extra dollars, to me it makes more sense just to put it in a better box. Um, on an item that's $229, we want it to be very well protected. So. It's gonna go into a regional box A from Florida to California. It's costing us like $10 and 30 something cents. And then we are also gonna add signature confirmation to the item because it is, for us, we do it on anything over $150. So with the Pendleton blanket, uh, we're more than likely gonna be shipping this one FedEx. So it's in a regular brown box. This is actually a, I think it's an ex Amazon Prime box. But remember that presentation does make a difference when you're shipping out a $160 blanket. So I have it in the brown box. We have this nice eBay branded, uh, what is this, tissue paper? eBay branded tissue paper on top. And then our thank you notes will go right in the middle, just like that. So they're getting like a nice complete package. And this box through FedEx Smart Post will cost us $13.66 to ship out. So that's gonna be the cheapest way. Could we ship it USPS priority mail? We could, um, but it would cost us $23. So we're saving $10. Obviously the item was listed with FedEx shipping. So it's not like we listed it with priority shipping and instead we're using FedEx, it was listed with FedEx. Remember when you're shipping stuff that you can always ship with a faster service, but don't ever go down, if that makes sense. So $13 and 66 cents, shipping out the blanket. That's heavy as a thought it would be. Fifty-nine pounds. Yes. Eighteen, nineteen, thirty-three. So this giant box is going FedEx. It weighs fifty-nine pounds, and it's eighteen by nineteen by thirty-three inches. Unfortunately, it's going from Florida to California. So the cheapest way is going to be FedEx ground and it's gonna cost us $54.11. But when you compare that to Priority Mail, Priority Mail would cost us $107. So it's half the price to ship at FedEx Ground. All right, here's another one. 63 pounds going to Oregon from Florida. Again, shipped at FedEx, and it cost us $54 to ship it. So this is a medium-sized box too. It's 18 by 18 by 17. These medium sized boxes, uh, they're like roughly 50 to 60 pounds each, and they're costing us on average about 55 bucks to ship out. All right, about one hour later, all the lots have sold now, all the lots have been shipped, or at least labeled anyway. Now all we have to do is get them loaded into our vehicles and get them off to FedEx so that our students can start selling them. Look at that, who said the Tesla wasn't a cargo van? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven, eight boxes in there? You could probably put another one in the front. No, none in the front seat. <laughs> so you put some in the front. No. The I have to make sure it can close, too. Oh, yeah. License plate. We're good. We're good. We did it. <laughs> That's so sad. I'm so sorry, Tesla. <laughs> 
put stuff in your car. There's three boxes. Oh, you did car. already? Yeah. Okay. My whole trunk is empty, so you can put most of it. Let's just put two here, and then the rest will ship out tomorrow. Oh, thanks, dude. All right, and I think with that, I'm going to end the vlog here and say thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button for me. It was a long, grueling day, and I made a really nice long video for you guys. So hit the thumbs up button. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel. We have like 400 plus videos just like this, and we're adding new videos. We try to put out like, we try to put out at least three to five a week. So subscribe to our channel. Again, there's a link in the description of this video if you wanna get on our mentoring waiting list. Um, but besides that, guys, thank you again. I appreciate it. I'm Ryan Roots, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, bye.